We've had a ton of requests for this one specific use case recently, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about it. And it's a use case that's near and dear to my heart, which is sending an automated email sequence. And the reason it's near and dear to my heart is not because I love sending sequences of emails to people. It's because I've worked on email for so, so long and realized why email sequences are necessary. So for those of you who don't know, I used to be the product lead for Gmail for many years. And one of the big things we were always working on in Gmail was how we can help people identify which emails are important to them and high priority so that they should reply to them. And for a long time, there was this debate in the, in the email world about what the best methodology was to keep track of your email inbox. There was a big group of people who are vocal inbox zero advocates where you either archive something or take action on it immediately. There are other people who mark things on red if they want to get back to them. There are other people who star things that they, as they want to get back to them. And there are other people who just treat their email inbox as more of a feed of stuff that the emails will just kind of flow through and then they'll pick and choose which ones they want to reply to. And I remember when I first started working on Gmail, I'm a hardcore inbox zero person. My assumption was that I don't know, 80% of people were inbox zero people. And then it was maybe those 20% disorganized rabble that were just leaving this, you know, ongoing infinite feed of emails. And I was shocked to learn that it's fewer than 5% of people that keep a, a discipline system like inbox zero. The vast, vast, vast majority of people treat their email inbox as more of a feed where they're going to pluck out important items and respond to them if they, if they see them but that they're gonna be okay if they miss some stuff. And um, when I learned this, it like totally changed my perspective on how I thought about email, where I used to think if I sent someone a second email, I was annoying them or bugging them because it's annoying if you're an inbox zero person, if someone follows up with you again, because there's a reason you haven't responded to that thing yet. You're, 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 you, need to, you need to do something else before you can take action on it. But then when I realized that most people treat their inbox as an infinite feed, I realized that sending someone a second email to remind them to do something is not a rude, um, pestering kind of spam. It's actually just like a helpful nudge that brings it back to their attention. And so because of that observation, I've learned that if you want someone to reply to something, you probably need to send them multiple emails. <laughs> and if it's something that really requires a reply, like let's say you're collecting RSVPs for, for a party, you're almost certainly gonna need a simple email sequence that sends them multiple emails. But you don't wanna just send someone multiple automated emails even if they reply to the first email, you wanna make sure that you stop as soon as you get a reply. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Relay.app to send a really simple email sequence that will send multiple messages to make sure someone gives me an RSVP, but as soon as they do, I stop bugging them. <laughs> um, so let me show you how it works. So here's the, here's the demo setup I've got. I have a simple database in Notion, which is collecting party RSVPs. It has a first name, last name, email address, and whether the person is attending. And what I wanna do whenever I add a new party guest into that Notion database, I wanna kick off a simple email sequence that will send them a first email asking if they can make it. And then if they don't respond to that within a week, we're gonna send them a second email to see if they can make it. Let me show you how it works in relay.app. First, I'm gonna set up a trigger. And the trigger in this case is gonna be when a new page is added to that RSVP's Notion database, because that's how I'm gonna indicate that I want to add a person to the, the guest list of a party. Then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send an email to that person. Um, and you can see here that it's really easy to reference the email address of the particular database page that triggered this new related app workflow run. I'm gonna write a subject that's like, party coming up on oct 18, uh, please RSVP. Then in the body, I can say hi, and again, I can reference some information from the Notion page. I can say hi, first name. Um, I'm having a party on October 18th. Can you make it? Thanks, Jacob. And so that's gonna send the first email in the sequence. And now what I wanna do is I wanna wait to see if they reply to that email before I send another email. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a wait for reply step, 
which is a specific mechanism that we have for use cases like this, because it's very common that when you send an email, you want to wait for a reply to it before doing something. And the email I want to get a reply to is the, the original email that I sent in step one of this workflow. And now here's uh, where you need to set up some kind of important configuration to make this automated email sequence work. I want to set a deadline. And once the deadline happens, I want to continue the run because I want to send a second email. And in this case, I'm going to say that I want uh, the deadline to be, I think I said a week after. So yeah, seven days after the initial email. So what's going to happen here is we're going to wait for the reply for seven days. If no reply comes in seven days, we'll continue the run. And I'll show you how we can, if no reply happens, send them a second email. Okay, so now that I have this basic email and the wait for reply step set up, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up a path. And you can do that by setting, selecting flow control, rule-based path. And this path is going to have two variants. One variant is they replied to my email. The second variant is they did not yet reply to my email. And so let's call path A reply and path B no reply. And so in path A, what I want to do is uh, set this path to occur only if email number two, which is the one in this wait for reply step, is not empty, meaning there was a reply. If there was no reply, then I'm in the case where I want to send the, the secondary follow-up email. So in the reply case, if I got a reply, what I want to do is I want to update my RSVP database uh, with the content of the reply to the email. So here I'm going to add a simple AI extract step. I'm going to extract from that second email, and I want to extract um, if the person is coming to my party. And then based on the reply to that email, I want to update my database page uh, update, I think I have to type Notion, update. Yeah, I want to update my page in Notion. I want to select the triggering page. I want to update the attending RSVP status. And I want to use the output of that AI step. And then if they've already replied and I've extracted their RSVP, I've updated the page, then next I can just end the run because there's nothing else to be done here. If they have not replied, I want to keep going and send them another email. And so now I can basically set up the same set of steps I set up before with the original email and the wait for reply. So now I'm going to set up a new send email step. Actually, I think I'm going to send a reply to the original email. So there's context in it. I'm going to select the original email. I'm going to reply to it. And uh, I'll say in the body, uh, quick reminder. Let me know if you can make it. And then again, I'm going to mirror what I just did in the wait for a reply of the original email. So in this case, I'm going to add another wait for a reply step. And in this case, the reply I'm going to wait for is a reply to the email we just sent in step six. This was the second email in that original thread. And again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to say, if there's no reply uh, after the send time plus seven days, then I want to wake up and do something. And so once again, we can add the same exact kind of path that we had before. We can say path A is they replied and path B is no reply. And again, in uh, the way we're going to get into path A is if the email in step seven, which is the wait step, is not empty. And again, if they replied, we're going to do the same stuff we did in this path up here. We're going to do an AI extract from the most recent email. And we're going to extract attending the party. I can't remember if that's exactly what I called it last time, but that'll work. And then I'm going to again update the page in Notion with the RSVP status. And I'm going to use the AI output of step eight. And then once again, I'm going to end the run. 
And now in this case, you could totally set up another sequence and do a third email or a fourth email. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna say, if they didn't reply after my second nudge and it's been 14 days since the original email, I'm just gonna assume they're not coming to the party. And so I'll update the page. And again, I'll look at their particular RSVP status and I'll just set it to no. So this is a super, e uh, super simple email sequence. If you're doing something more advanced, like cold emailing thousands of people, you're going to want to use a dedicated emailing tool like uh, an Apollo. But if you have a pretty simple use case for a well-defined set of people and you just want to send a sequence of emails from your own personal address in an automated way, this is a really easy way to do it in Relayed App using a combination of email sending, wait for reply, and then these simple paths to help you navigate based on whether there was a reply or not. Hope you find that useful. And as always, if you have other use cases that you're trying to set up in relay.app or that you want to use AI for and you're not sure how to get started, feel free to, to make a comment below and I'm happy to make that my next video. As always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff if, if you like these kinds of AI automation uh, videos. And with that, head over to Relay.app, try it out for free, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.